Even Jesus fell over, it's too much. Oh no, it's Mary. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka Geek XX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to Sweet Home Season 3. We're now on to episode seven. Last episode, in my opinion, a little bit slow, a little bit fillery, but basically the main things we got is that Unyu is symptomatic now. Don't know how far along she is into it, but she's decided not to go with them to the stadium because she's gonna because she's going to slow them down. So it's just gonna be Unyuk and Hyunsu who are on their way. The uh Isu, she managed to turn a bunch of the humans into monsters, or I'd say more like zombies, but she did in fact turn um Yunsu into a big pile of jelly. But the other she kind of turned into her zombie soldiers, but it looks like her dad made quick work of them, so she might be captured yet again. And outside of that, Tack basically let Kim know that he symptomatic and then he's gonna have to take over you know taking care of everybody probably sooner than later and also the mad scientist discovered that because of uh isu's ability he wants isu to turn him and now he has a vial of um what's his name Sangwon's blood uh in his body that he's planning to use to hopefully turn him into a neo-human as well so that's where we're at everyone's still kind of on there well not everyone because now the only people that are not at the stadium are hyunsu and Unyuk. so yeah i'm ready for them to show up and to get this show on the road because yeah we're, we're kind of getting to the point now where something's got to go down something's got to happen to keep that man from taking over his daughter's body so let's jump into this episode but just before i do a reminder that if you'd like to be in the know when i drop episodes go ahead hit that subscribe button and that notification bell all right that out of the way let's get into episode seven right now can that not be burned with acid <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm so like are you trying to make me feel sorry for this guy because I don't oh a disgruntled employee I'm kind of down for that you aren't scared of the dark are you the way this bust down is not working about time you got yours. He's like, you're supposed to go, what? There's no way he wouldn't be burning right now, by the way. Oh, right, he can pull it out, right? I think he can pull his own blood out. Think swallowing it was a good idea now, bro? Guess it's a good thing you didn't shove it up your butt. Although that would probably hurt less. Cause, you know, thank God there might be God, you know? God did not want that for you. She's like, for the first time in my life, I kinda don't want to. I wanted him to suffer more. So unfair. You were already a monster, bro. Deserved. You tortured so many people. Yes, technically, she's a survivor. <laughs> you know, she's never gonna be able to stop being obsessed with you now, right? My thing with this is that where do we go? Cause like, do they have vehicles to take all these people out? They're gonna run? 
this just feels like an ill thought plan. I, I'm not going to be mad at them for trying to escape, but I just feel like no one's concentrating here. I can't believe you stood there. But anyways, we knew it was going to come down to this. Didn't I say it was going to be a fight for her soul? Y'all can just leave. You're too late. Is Minyuk going to sense the cocoon and just like, screw off? I feel like that's what he's going to do. Again, he's immortal. Almost blew your cover. I hope you recognize that that is not her. That man could not pretend to be her if he tried. He did get them. If you don't take those damn pills, girl. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Like, was she turned? The crazy girl, right? Like, I'm, I have not seen her, like, for two episodes. So I think maybe she was turned. I don't know. She's just still hanging out. My bad. Even Jesus fell over. It's too much. Oh, no, it's Mary. Let's just go. Like, he's a monster. He's going to survive that. Let's go. While he's out. Let's go. Wait, they knew each other before? So she was turning and then she stopped? I'm confused. Whoa. What in the horror movie? I saw that. Oh. Oh no, not the monster. Not now. Tack? Bro? Hold on. Just a little longer. It's a car. Oh, that's right. They didn't know. It's just the soldiers knew. Yo! It's a nosebleed! Wait, who was smiling? Who's in the hat? Who in the hat was smiling? Oh, right, 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 right. Crazy man. Bye, Tack. Right, he's looking for the cocoon. That's why he wanted to split up. Okay, well, at least you can make hands. That's helpful. He became a wall? Protect. Oh. So is that the way out that he just turned into a wall for? I'm so confused, mate. You know she couldn't do that. You know she doesn't talk like this. Come on. Come on. Um, 
I get this, but I feel like you're entirely still too close to her. Because I still think the tentacles work. We don't know yet, but I still think they do. Oh, it's your favorite place, the park. That little uh, garden in the park that she liked. I'm gonna need you to fight, Isu, for the love of God. Yeah, who are you? <laughs> yeah, who are you? Yeah, she's actually cute. We might have to lose her. If that's the only way. Alright. Okay. We have a whole other episode. What does that mean? Is she gonna call her army? What's left of them? Get to killing! What's your plan now, Yunsu? I'm with you again on this one, Unyuk. Like, this was kind of an easy, this was a no brainer. <laughs> Listen, I do. I feel bad for Isu. I do. I, but she did. It's true. She put up literally zero fight the second time. I mean, I know she tried with the zombies once that she was like, oh, okay. Like, you pushed him out once. You couldn't do it twice, sis. Like, she doesn't care anymore. She's taking a nap in there. Like, I know. I know. This is not what Lee Kyung would have wanted, but. If you can get rid of the devil, you get rid of the devil. But as I said, we have a whole episode left. I did predict this. It's going to be a fight for her soul. Somehow Hyunsu's going to have to try to get back in there, I guess. And either wrestle him out or get her to fight. My guess is it's going to be the latter though, because like clearly the whole body jumping thing is his domain. Hyunsu knows nothing about that. This isn't like a typical monster thing where the monster is a manifestation of this person's desires. This is literally a demon man that is... His thing is jumping into people's bodies and puppeting that crap from the inside. That's what you're dealing with. And you're in his playground when you go in there. So respectfully, Hyunsu, I don't know that you're gonna have the time to, to get this done because he's gonna keep throwing them bodies at you. And then at some point, again, I don't know if the tentacles are still there. I'm thinking no, because why wouldn't they've used it, right? So I do think that he can't use the tentacles. I was right about, no, but he used the tentacles in both the bodies. But again, they were human. So she's different. She's a monster, right? I said that in the last episode that the difference is the first two bodies he jumped were human. They weren't monsters. This one, she's different. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm assuming he can still use the tentacles though. We saw he used the healing factor. So, but that's also hers. It's not really his, it's hers. That's right. That's her healing factor. So I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, I, I have to say, I'm with Unyuk in this one, like, mm, can we just like stab her up a little bit, tie her up, tie her down somehow, maybe at least try to do something rather than just leave her out to do her anyway. Or they've got ketamine, There's, they we're in there, how much ketamine, get her, knock her out, keep her knocked out for a little while, although the ketamine only works for a couple hours. But anyhow, it's, uh, it's a bit frustrating, but I, I knew since we had another episode, we probably weren't going to wrap this all up in a bow. But yeah, we'll have to see what he's able to do. My guess is, like I said, he's going to have to bring her back. He's going to have to get her to fight. It's her body. It's her mind. And she's not dead. Unlike the other hosts that he took over, they were on the brink of death when he took them. So this is different. This is, she's there. She's fully healthy. She's there. Like he just needs to convince her to fight for her body, to fight for what her mom was trying to protect, to like what her mom literally died for. So hopefully can get her to do that before too much damage is done. My guess is that the other, the people trying to run away are going to somehow be a part of this as well, because we all know that Unyuk will kill all those, all the, like all those that are turned, right? He's going to take them all out. Hyunsu's not going to want to do it, but I'm going to need him to just, I need monster Hyunsu back. That's basically what I'm saying. I need monster Hyunsu back. <laughs> Bring the blue eyed guy back. 
<laughs> but anyhow, um, did we have anything else this episode? I feel like this one, again, kind of, I'm feeling like we could have just done the finale, like maybe made one and uh, seven and eight into one. I haven't seen eight yet, but considering what we got in this episode, I almost feel like they should have just made this last episode like an hour and a half and just done it. But anyhow, because other than that, we just had, yeah, other than that, we just had the people trying to escape. Um, the soldier found the girl that was obsessed with him. She was obviously terrified the monsters might come for her, but she didn't have it in her to take matters into her own hands. So, I mean, which is a good thing because she was found, but he took her, tried to escape with her and then realized that um, they bumped into the spider girl. So she is still healing because that was, I mean, that, that doctor rooted all the way around in her innards. So I know it's going to take her a minute to heal up from that, but I hope they leave her alone because she really didn't want to hurt people. Um, from what we've seen in the show, actually, she's never taken out any of the soldiers or any of the humans. Everyone she's taken out have been monsters. So I think she's a bit like Hyun Soo. But anyway, there was that. Sergeant Tack, we lost, well, he lost his battle to the monster, I, the monsterization. I was saying he was actually, he actually held out for a very long time, but yeah, he, he finally succumbed and became a wall. Sergeant Kim said before that he thought he would become a monster that either killed or protected. Him becoming a wall, I gotta think he's doing the protection, but why seal him in the stadium? But I guess it's because he must sense that maybe, oh yeah, he knows the pyre's outside, so maybe he thinks he's protecting them by keeping them in there? I don't know. But he said, I won't let you go. And I think everyone assumed that he meant a bad thing by that, but I think he thinks he's protecting them by keeping them in the stadium. So anyway, he's gone, RIP to him. And what else did we get? We got, uh, the doctor is gone finally, the mad scientist is gone. He, uh, he was found out. And of course, I think the, the taking out of the mad scientist and the taking out of the rock guy, the, one of the, the minions that someone had was because he was angry. He thought that they were like him when he found out that basically that they're frauds, that they're fakes. He's upset and he took it out on them because he doesn't want any fake versions of him. He wants real uh, neo-humans that he thinks are like him. So he sent him into the fire, uh, but not after, but not before rip, literally ripping his guts out, which I thought was a, <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't mad at it at all. Like he honestly owed that doctor because that man tortured him to death almost. So not to mention all the other people that he tortured. So he deserved all of that and more. I'm glad that he didn't get turned in the end like he wanted. I feel like his death was too quick though, personally. He deserved so much more. But anyways, um... That was, that was that, right? Yeah, he took them out and then jumped the body. And as I said, little to no resistance in jumping the body. Uh, I really thought there would be more. I hope there would be more. And it's really sad to me that it took Hyunsu so long to figure out that that wasn't Isu. Like, I know she hasn't been like in this age group for very long, but he literally raised her for a year. So I think he already knew that like, she wasn't the kind of person who even carried herself the way that, that sang one was in that body. But I mean, I got to give her the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, I don't think he realized that that would be something sang one would do is jump her into her body of all things. So anyway, is that pretty much it? Yeah. Like the rest was just a few loose ends. Like the girl who needed the medication, she got it. The priest, we got a little backstory on why he actually cares about the girl who said she was in love with him, the girl who's kind of out of her mind. All of us thought it was some weird tr crush, but it turns out they've actually known each other since before this started. And it looks like she was going through monsterization, but resisted, but somehow her ma her mind hasn't been the same since. That's what I'm picking up. For I still don't get it. I'm not gonna lie. I still don't understand what that flashback meant, but you definitely saw her eyes go black. So that's what I'm thinking is that she was in the middle of the monsterization, got into the car accident, something maybe happened to her brain during that car accident and maybe that's why it didn't take, but she's never been the same since. And it's like, she somewhat remembers him, but she doesn't, I don't know, but it's definitely showing us that they had some long-term connection and that this is why he's so bitter, I guess, is because he has to watch her like this. But anyhow, they're, uh, they're back together and they're gonna try to get out, I guess. So that's, that's it, right? Yeah, that's really it. We didn't get much. As I said, I really feel like we didn't have too much happen in this episode again, which is why I feel like we need to like, we could have combined this episode with whatever's coming in the finale because I just feel like we didn't really do very much in this one to the point that we needed to split it into two episodes because clearly we know what, we know what um, Hyun Soo has to do. He has to try to coax someone out of there, but how? 
right? How is he going to get him to get out of there? Because why would he leave? He worked so hard to get out of that first body. He wants to get back in there so badly. Uh, or he wants, sorry, he wants to be in this body so badly. So I don't, like, and he knows that that's the objective that Cha, uh, Cha Hun Su has. So I just don't know what's going to happen. My point is, I don't know how that's going to happen without, as I said in the beginning of this review, without Isu fighting back. It's the only thing I can think of. And we see that Un <laughs> Unyuk don't care. Unyuk's like, well, we need to get rid of this guy right now. The other ones are pretty much, with the exception of the spider girl. Oh no, Acid Boy's still alive. That's right. Acid Boy was in the basement. I noticed he was there with the hat on because he's trying to escape with the other people rather than die. Uh, so two of them are still alive, actually. But anyhow, so yeah, we see that Onyuk just wants to get rid of all these neo-human people because they're a threat to his version of neo-humans. And he was going to go look for the cocoon. That's why he split off because he could sense the cocoon was there. But the... Um, What's his name? Uh, Yunsu ended up taking him outside instead. And I'm assuming he's the one who told him about the body snatching plot. How? I have no idea. But yeah, so yeah, Unya just wants to get rid of him. He doesn't care. He's like, I don't know who this girl is. She doesn't mean nothing to me. Let's just get rid of this problem while we can. And I understand why I get it, why Yunsu doesn't want to do that. But I'm just like, Ugh. I also get the fact that Inyuk's like, let's just end it. Like, this is our best opportunity to do so. But anyhow, I guess this is going to be our fodder for the finale is who's going to win the battle for Young Isu's body and soul in this case. And is everyone going to walk away? It's really going to come down to Hyun Soo, I believe. And how is he going to not only take care of any of the people that, she, that she's turned, but manage to try to fight the inner battle while also dealing with the outside, right? Like that's a lot for Hyun Soo to focus on. And he's never had to do that much at once. So, but yeah, I think we, I will say this though, they are wrapping up a lot of the storylines that were left open in season one. I say the, or season two, I should say, particularly. The only thing I think that was left is that Miss Kim, remember from season two, how she got reborn? I'm wondering where she is. Maybe she was one of the girls that came to the, anyway, I'm wondering where she is. That's the only thing that we never came back to. But I obviously know now that was just kind of a trailer to trickle effect us into what's happening with Unyu. Unyuk, pardon me, but yeah, uh, that's probably it. They they are at least wrapping up a lot of these different storylines and character arcs, and sadly, we're just losing a lot of people, but that is the nature of a monster apocalypse. So yeah, as I said, it was an okay episode. I feel like we could have gotten more or done more with it, but you know, we're one more step to the finale, and I'm ready to watch that. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love, and I'll see you in the next one.